Good morning and welcome to Bible Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 10th of January 2018. Today's Gospel passage is a little long but um, it's very interesting so I'm sure that you will enjoy listening to it. It's from Mark chapter 1 verses 29 to 39. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick and possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, let us go on to the neighboring town so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. It has never ceased to fascinate me how Jesus found time to pray, to commune with his Father. Consider this, after sunset the previous day, after the sun had gone, the entire city was camped at his doorstep seeking time with Jesus. He healed many who were sick and cast out many demons, and by the time he went to bed, it was probably very late. He must have been exhausted. We need to remember that Jesus was very, very human. Now, you would probably expect him to sleep in. But here we see that in the morning, while it was still dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. Wow. Now, when the sun comes up, everybody looks for Jesus, but he's nowhere to be seen. Eventually, they find him and say, hey, everybody's searching for you. And what does Jesus say? Okay, let's go and do some more healing and get more famous. No, Jesus says, let's go somewhere else so that I can proclaim the gospel. It is all about proclaiming the gospel. That was Jesus' purpose, and it has to be ours. At the end of every single gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in one form or another, we hear Jesus telling us to go into the world and proclaim the good news. That is the prime directive and one that we have to follow. It is not optional. Let us seek God's counsel in how to go about doing this as we spend time in a dark and deserted place every day. It doesn't have to be in a mountain or a desert. Your own room will do fine. Listen to what Jesus says. When you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret. I wish you a blessed time with God this year as you spend time with him in private and I wish you great success in fulfilling his purpose for your life. God bless you.